Hello! In this video, I will show you how to use the Shape tool in Pixlr E. So I'm in Pixlr E, and I will create a new file. I'm going to choose Ultra HD. And for this file, I want a background. It'll make it easier for you to see what my shapes are doing. So I clicked the background button, and I'm selecting white and create, and that gives me a nice white background. And the first thing I want to do uh, before I start making shapes is to switch my foreground and background colors. I want my background color to be black right now. Uh, and you'll see why in a moment. And just a quick review, these are your foreground and background colors. The top one is your foreground and the bottom one is your background color. And to switch them, you just click this little arrow here. The shape tool is in your toolbar and it's the bottom one of towards the bottom left of your toolbar it's the little rectangle and circle icon so click on that and you'll notice in your tool options bar you now have different shapes you have an opacity setting a stroke and a fill setting and i'll go through and show you what each of those do so i'm going to turn the fill on and click on rectangle and if I click and drag you'll see that I've created a rectangle. Now if you don't want to fill, so if you don't want it filled inside you can turn that off and have your stroke go. Notice that your stroke is your foreground color, your fill is your background color which is why I set the background to black initially now I'm going to go in and change my foreground color just by clicking on that circle, choosing a color, hitting OK. And you can see now that the stroke is set to 26 pixels, so it's kind of thick. And the fill is turned off, so there's no fill. And of course, if you increase the stroke, it'll be thicker. And if you set it all the way down, there'll be no stroke. Right now I have no stroke and no fill, so nothing will happen. But if I turn the fill on and go ahead and make a rectangle, it will uh, fill it in with the background color. So again, I can change that if I so desire. And you can turn the stroke and the fill on, of course, and you get a nice shape with a stroke and a fill. Opacity will make your shape see-through, and you can set how see-through it is. So if we set it to about 50, you can see that you can see through the shape to whatever's below it. And moving on to the different shapes, we have the rounded rectangle tool. Uh, same settings, except we have one new setting, and it's called radius, and radius is how rounded the edges are. So if you want them really rounded, set this nice and high, and you can see that the edges there are very round, and if you don't want them rounded, set them low. Now a nice feature with the shape tool is if you hold down shift, so if you start drawing, click and drag, and notice I can stretch out my rectangle, stretch it out this way, but if I want it to be a perfect square, I can hold down shift, and that will lock the dimensions of the shape to a perfect square. In the case of the elliptical or circular shape, it will make it a perfect circle, which we'll get to in a moment. And same with the triangle, it'll make it an equilateral triangle. So let's check out the circle. Same settings with the circle. I'm going to bump up my opacity. And you can see I can make it an ellipse so I can stretch it out. Or if I hold down shift, if I click the button and then hold down shift, it will make it a nice perfect circle. And again, we can turn the fill off and just have a stroke and vice versa. And the triangle, same deal. You can stretch it out if you hold down shift. All the sides will be equilateral and the same length.
star, uh, all the same. Star, heart will all give you the same settings. Fill, stroke, hold down shift, etc. And the line will make a straight line from one point to another. Now with the line, if you hold down shift, it'll make a perfectly straight line across your screen like so. So if you're not holding shift, you're free to rotate it. Um, but if you hold down shift, it'll make it a perfect straight line. And if you start it, oops, I let go there. But if you start drawing up and down and hold down shift, it'll make it a perfect straight line up and down. So if you need to make perfectly straight lines um, up and down or side to side, hold down shift. And of course, there's no fill with the line. There's just the stroke and that sets how thick the line is. And just a reminder that the fill for the shape is your background color and the stroke is your foreground color. So really easy to set those colors. And don't forget about your opacity setting. You can do really fun things with that. And also your layers, of course, if you add a new layer, you can add shapes into that layer and then move them around independently of all the other shapes. So in this first layer, all the shapes are together in one unit. And in this layer, the only the one shape that I just drew is visible and present. So there you have it, the basics uh, and complete tutorial on how to make shapes in Pixlr. I will see you in the next video.